All right, everyone, welcome back to Cheddar's News Wrap. In 2020, our homes are more than where we live. For many of us, it's also our place for work and socializing with our quarantine bubble amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And new data from the National Association of Home Builders and Wells Fargo shows that home builders are seeing an increase of demand from buying, reaching another high in October amid record low interest rates. Joining us now with more is Rogers Healy, CEO of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. Really good to have you taking the time uh, to join us here on this Monday. Talk to us a bit about why you think the demand for building homes and houses is really such at such a high right now. Yeah, especially this time of year. This is normally when we go and take our vacations and start to, you know, hibernate. But we're just as busy now in the early fall as we were in the early spring. So it's what you said, right? Everyone is home right now for the most part. And if you're around your people, your family more than you ever have been before, you probably need more room. So, yeah, logic is leading the race right now. And with interest rates so low, people are trying to get something bigger and better because that's going to be probably our new norm for a while. And Rogers, I'm curious, are you seeing a a repeat with regards to uh, kind of uh, sentiment from people? I mean, are people sort of into the same thing? Are you seeing a lot of recurring trends during the pandemic? And in your estimation, has the pandemic shifted um, sort of the desires of people out there in the market? Sure. Yeah. So the, the trend that we've seen really the last decade has been open spaces, like open living room, open kitchen, everything that just opens up to where you can all be around each other. That trend is starting to change to people wanting to have actually segmented rooms, like their own private space. And if you think about it, you know, for the most part, up until March 10th or 11th, we were at our offices more than we were at our homes, which means we could come home and not drive your spouse or your kid or your roommate crazy. Now we want that sense of space. So we're starting to see people wanting stuff that started to fade away, like a designated office, a designated media room, just actual space that they can call their own. So they're not going to drive each other crazy in the same house. I'm curious if there are specific shortages that you're coming by with regards to things like building materials and things that are making this whole space, this whole conversation much more difficult. As the demand inherently shifts, uh, your basic infrastructure is also going to need to change as well. I'm curious what you're seeing. Right. Yeah. So we have a shortage of everything except for realtors. Right. And when you can't find a job, what you do is you get into real estate. So we've seen a surplus of realtors. Shocker. But we've seen a, a shortage of stuff like building sites, like lumber like labor. And when that happens, and you have a surge in demand, you also have a surge in prices. So, you know, it, it has been crazy. But yet yeah, the lack of inventory across the board in every definition of inventory has been overwhelming, you know, for four or five months straight. And we don't we don't see it it's slowing down anytime soon. All right. A lot of people are out there, Rogers. They are looking at their own home situation. They're looking at their work or life or work life balance situation. They, too, are considering Taking on the big task of building, what tips do you give viewers who are interested in learning more or considering this? Yeah, do your research, right? Building, um, you know, building is not necessarily the most fun thing. The most fun thing about building is being done with it. It's like pledge ship, right? Like you can't wait for it to be over, but it's like the most fun you never want to have again. But do your homework. There's a lot of great apps online. There's a lot of great websites that will educate you. And I think the more prepared people are, Prior to engaging in a builder contract, the better and the more peaceful the situation the relationship is going to be. And also be realistic, right? You have to add a little bit of time. If you think it's going to be done in a year, add another few months to it. If you think you're going to be able to do it for $100,000, I would probably allot $120,000. And just, you know, do your research because we all watch reality TV, but we know that reality TV really isn't real. So it's not going to be done overnight and it might take longer. But at the end of the day, you know, the greater good of it is, is a good experience so that you can be something long term. So, yeah, just be realistic and be ready to pounce on something when it comes available as far as a building site is concerned. Yeah, Rogers, I'm very fond of saying you always have less time and less money than you think you do. I suppose that maximum yeah. applies doubly to your world here. I'm curious, what do you hear from people who have gone through the process? They come to you after the fact and they say, oh, Rogers, that was great or not so great. But I really wish I had known this before I started. What are those I wish I had knowns that people should right. know ahead of time? Sure. I, I think the first thing is just I wish I would have known how to manage my expectations. And like I was saying, most homes are going to take at a minimum nine months to build. But if it rains outside and you still have your foundation, you have to be poor. That's going to add two more days of a delay to get it done. So I, I think just managing expectations. And also, I wish I would have known that like the little bitty things that we think are going to be a big deal aren't. 
like like heated floors. That sounds great and that sounds fancy, but really, do you need it? Probably not. And just little intricate intricate things that along the home building process, it seems like monopoly money, but it adds up. And I think looking at the big picture, and every time you go to build a home, build it with the intention of trying to sell it quickly. So make sure your place is personal, but not too personal. And your favorite color might not be the favorite color of a potential buyer. So I think managing expectations, being realistic, and also realizing that you're probably not going to be in your dream home forever, which is why people like me have a career. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I appreciate the candor there. Rogers Healy, CEO of yes, Rogers sir. Healy and Associates Real Estate. Rogers, great to have you uh, for taking the time. It's an outstanding subject that matters a lot to American families right now.